crudos are usually raw, but you can right. also do this treatment. Right. Like crudos are by definition raw because that's mm -hmm. what crudo means in Italian. Okay. But I'm now I'm learning something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chef Steve Sampson, Soto in Los Angeles. How do you start off here when you're making this uh, albacore crudo? Here at the restaurant, we are serving it now with like some really nice market vegetables. We have this beautiful patty pan squash from the market, thinly sliced on a mandolin. Mm -hmm. And then we just take this, we don't cook it at all, we just lightly marinate it. This is tomato water, some uh, colatura, which is like an Italian mm -hmm. anchovy fish sauce, basically some Sicilian oregano and olive oil. Just let that marinate for a minute. And then I'm gonna take the tuna conserva and just slice it. You focus a lot on Southern Italian right. food, but like, is there a specific place that you would really find this mixture and this like preparation? Generally, more seafood focused dishes, especially with eggplant like we have here, kind of sings uh, Southern Italian. Southern Italy is all about great seafood. They do fish a lot of tuna down in Sicily as well. So I think this is definitely a dish that while it's not a traditional Southern Italian dish, it definitely has all the components of a great Southern Italian dish. So I'm just gonna take this uh, zucchini out. It's, it just needs to marinate for a few minutes to get the flavors. And then I actually like to marinate the fish back in here just for another second. So it helps marry them together just, when you do put the dish a, together. Right, and it adds like another flavor component to the dish for sure. Then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this uh, eggplant puree. I'm gonna try some of this. Sure, this is delicious. I think you're really gonna like it. So what do you do with this puree okay. to make it? This, we actually blast the eggplants whole in the super hot wood burning oven. Then you put it in a container, cover it so it steams, peel off most of the skin, and then puree it with some olive oil, lemon juice, a little bit of garlic, some salt, pepper, and that's really it. Just throw it in the food process? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna use just some of this um, quickly marinated nice zucchini. So I'm trying to give it a little height, but that's better. It was the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but that's Northern Italy, so you have right. nothing to do with that. <laughs> right. You know nothing about no, that. No, well, my mom's from Bologna, which is really close to Pisa, okay. so there's nothing wrong with Northern Italy or Wait Northern Italy. Wait a minute, did, was there any, like, she's from Northern Italy, she's like, why are you cooking Southern yes. Italian? You get You're that opening up a big, like, family uh, issue. Let's that have, have a therapy <laughs> session here. <laughs> this is uh, some pearl onions that are cooked down in agro dolce, so just a little mm -hmm. bit of red wine vinegar and sugar. But yeah, you brought up an interesting point with the uh, Northern. I am gonna open a Northern Italian restaurant soon, so. What made you wanna do Southern Italian? What? Well, what it was basically, the restaurant was based around this oven. We brought in a third generation oven builder from Naples, Stefano Ferrar, he's famous. We decided we wanted to do pizza and we wanted to be regional. So there's no way to do pizza and be Northern Italian. So it was like kind of Southern Italian by default, which is fine because I think Southern Italian food has kind of gotten not a bad reputation, but kind of underrepresented, let's just say. So I'm just gonna drain off a little of this marinade and see how the, the, the fish has become nice and kind of translucent. Yeah, so you've got a pretty thick slice there. It's not razor thin. No, you don't have to. I mean, you want definitely want some texture to the fish. Albacore, which is very soft, I think. You can slice it a little bit thicker. Then here we have some toasted. This is another really kind of traditional. I'm gonna eat more. Yeah, toasted. It's called Let's Get Fat, I gotta eat <laughs> Toasted breadcrumbs. I just like to sprinkle it on, give it a little flavor. It's gonna give it and a great mix of texture right, too. Right, exactly. It gives it that little extra crunch. As always, everything, a nice amount of olive oil. And then we got some sea salt. I'm gonna take some scallions. Just do a light chiffonade on these. And, um, Fresh basil, I like to just tear it on top and just let it kind of fall where it may. And that's our albacore conserva dish. Well, let's give it a try. So you gotta kind of get everything yeah, in just there. Get in you want there. all the layers of flavor. I'm gonna do some scooping. Drag it. Drag get that it, good scoop olive oil. it. Mm. You just get a touch of that lemon in there, just a little mm. bit of that acid. It's got the perfect amount of salt needs to it. What I got Amazing. right away was a crunch from the breadcrumbs, which I really liked. A little bit of sweetness from the onions. So I think it's a nicely well-balanced dish, and the fish is great. It's got sweet, salty, that little bit of crunch, the perfect from this fish. You're playing every note in the symphony yeah. here. Thank you very Thumbs much. Thumbs up. Jeff. You got the knife, so I have to. No, it's good. <laughs> no, it's, even if you didn't have the knife, okay. I would definitely approve of this. This okay. is awesome, Chef. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks,
France, you would normally use a really nice creme fraiche or creme épaisse. Right. Oh yeah, it smells great. Like you can smell the almond, you can smell the vanilla, and now that like kind of the sourness from the yogurt. Perfect. That looks yeah, great. Good. And then. And then we oh, just yeah. add whole yeah. milk. <laughs> whole milk. This, it's a 250 really grams of yogurt. I think they make a machine that makes this that makes this whole process a lot easier. This? I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I've seen one of those machines. <laughs>